Hello guys and welcome and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm testing out whether a 5mm watercolor tube is equal to a full 2.5ml watercolor pan in terms of price. I'm having Paul Rubin's students grade and this is the cheaper tube paint that I can think of because I don't want to waste an artist grade tube in such an experiment. Now let's squirt all the paint into this empty foam pan. The seller said this pan is around 3 to 4 milliliter, which is a little bit larger than the 2.5 milliliter foam pan that I'm going to show you later. When it comes to watercolor paint, every drop to me is so valuable. So I'm being super extremely and extra careful. I start at the bottom of the tube to make sure no paint is left inside. I try to swirl the paint into the corner of the pan first to distribute it evenly. Oh my my, you guys. I'm shaking. I, I'm, I'm trying to adjust my hand so that it won't block the view of the pan. It's like I'm doing something suspicious here. Okay, wow, the process seems easy, but listen guys, it's not easy at all. Squeezing paint from a small tube is much harder than doing it in a big tube. And I'm trying my best to drain every last drop from this tiny tube here. Right. I know, it's a little bit boring, so I decide to drop off some footages. And after 3 minutes, here's the results. Please excuse my shaking hands. Even now, watching back when editing, I still have no idea why the world I had such a hand tremor like this. <sighs> Alright. So you can see that there are still some spaces in the pan and I'm using this pin to stir up the paints so to make it settle evenly. I know you guys are probably thinking like wait that, that looks ill or, or just messy and I do feel so too but please bear with me because I just want to show you to document every single step and so you know the real process. Now I'm taping it on the table a few times to let everything sit in place. Well, actually, there's quite an amount of paint left in the tube, so I'm going to go for the last round and repeat those steps. There, this is the final result, a 4 milliliter foam pan with a lot of paints. Here is a full 2.5 milliliter watercolor pan from White Knights. I'm unboxing it and we'll compare it with the previous pan side by side. This is the White Knight 2.5 milliliter pan on the left and a Paul Rubens pan on the right. You can see that the right pan is bigger, as I mentioned, it's 3 to 4 milliliters. When pouring the fresh paints from the tube into the pan, it hardens and shrinks down due to water evaporation. As being said, you still get more paints from buying a watercolor tube and pour it into a pan than buying the watercolor pan itself. My verdict is that watercolor tube is more economical in the long run. Thank you for watching and see you in the next video. Happy painting!